back at Cafe Artichoke. And, and we, the first video podcast that we did, we had so much fun, and I really liked the result, uh, that I figured we'd do some more couples <laughs> who are married to each other or not, but who are couples, and, um, and also play music, sometimes together, sometimes not. So the next couple of these will be that. And today, two of my favorite people, Shelly Rudolph and Chance Hayden, are here. Hello. 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 You've been on the podcast before. Yes. I've been trying to get her on the podcast for years. Well, because we did it. Because of my never-ending album. And she always <laughs> says, can we wait till the album comes out? I said, OK. So I, I, I contact her next year. <laughs> it's been a journey. It's been a journey. But it's done. It is. It's done. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yes. Well, Just as of, like, yesterday. Pretty much, yeah. yeah well, let's we, hear about it. It took a million years, <laughs> as you know. Um, but it's it's beautiful. I love it, actually, which is amazing. Who's on and, it? Uh, David Darling, this incredible cellist. Oh, my God. Ah, look at that. David Darling? David yeah. Darling. That's awesome. I know. We went there in... 2010. 2010. Oh my God. We started this album at his house. We went. It was incredible. It was recorded. Yeah. Tons of cello with him. Oceans of cello. Yeah. <laughs> and then have been kind of, you know, adding to it and chipping away at the whole process ever since. But of course, we had a child and yeah. many I'm other sure. things. As a matter of fact, enter the yes. picture. Yeah. I was yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. thinking about the benefit that you had, the yeah. pregnancy benefit. Exactly. And you yeah, were yeah, yeah. spectacularly pregnant. I was. <laughs> I know that was maybe it was two weeks or three weeks before he was born or something. Yeah, it was super it was close. Pretty yeah. close. Yeah. 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 Well, let's get. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about Hall yeah. in a minute. But who who else is on the album? So we got Chance Hayden, of course. What a shock! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, though I'm not really on that much of it. I've I performed on maybe four tracks total okay. of the nine. So, mm -hmm. but I, you know, had. Music quite a hand direction. in it, you know, production. producing and yeah. co-writing and mm -hmm. arranging and so. Um, but yeah, yeah. there's a million piano, wonderful piano players. <laughs> yeah, like Tom her. Grant, mm -hmm. Daryl Grant, <laughs> David <laughs> Goldblatt. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> David Goldblatt, wow. uh, Dave Matthews. Wow. All our piano players. And then uh, Dave Captain's on a couple songs. Devin Phillips is on soprano sax on a couple songs. And Red Ray Frazier, do you know him? Oh, sure. He's on, sure. we do a duet together, and then he does backups on another. And so I, I sent a message to great. Dave Captain the other day because I've never seen him with the ventriloquist. Oh, ventriloquist <laughs> dummy. Oh, uh, uh, well, I guess you're not supposed amazing. to say dummy. What do you say? Um, puppet? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Right. Aren't they puppets? No, 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 puppets. What's his name? It's puppet, you put your hand like a. Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't that kind of. And I sent him a, I, I sent him a message saying, "Listen, Dave." The doll. I don't know. Yeah. You could be. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about these things, but I've never seen you perform with the as a ventriloquist. Mm -hmm. And if you could come on the podcast, oh I never heard back from him. <gasps> Try again. That would be like your hit. I know. <laughs> He's amazing. Oh my gosh, I love. Him. I don't know how many people really know, know that he does that. Well, he is it one of those musician secrets? I think you know he put up a few Facebook videos for you know was kind of letting people see it for a while. But I think he's all in all like kind of reserved about it. Like, yeah. I don't. You know. I think it's just <laughs> yeah a side passion. Yeah. <laughs> you know. In a way. So he's he's mainly the, the carries the bass. You know, he's on camera. Mostly it's cello. Like, again, oh, oh, so much gotcha. cello. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. yeah literally, oceans uh -huh. of cello. Uh -huh. uh, so I can, he's on a few, but he's the only uh -huh. additional bass player. Bowed so. cello or, or some? Uh, I don't think no, any bowing. Yeah, it's just, yeah. There's yeah. plenty of arco work with mm -hmm. the cello tracks. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, but he's, you know, it's, he's on a few things, but really it's, yeah, like, Shelly said a lot of cello. No, what I meant piano. was the cellos on the, on, on the record. Are they both or, or are oh, they? Oh, some yeah. Some of both. both. Yeah, yeah. Both? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's incredible. Oh, my gosh. David Darling is just one of the best people ever. It was Plus, we I'm went. it was magical, the whole recording there. And then um, 
like he's like my superhero, you oh. know. Um, but then, do you know Coleman Barks? The he, he's a poet who translated Rumi, like made really? Rumi, and they worked together. And oh. so while we were there, he happened to come and record a few songs with Dave, or a couple poems with David. Wow! It was like wow. it was all like a dream come um, true. He was with Paul Winter. Yeah. 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 And he was on ECM, right? Right. ECM. Yeah. yeah. I've got yeah. a couple. I have a couple yeah. of, of big girls on ECM. He's just. He's extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. So. He won. Yeah. You know, best new yeah. age album at the Grammys a uh, handful of years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, he's still they don't very. Have that anymore, do they? A new age category. I think they there's do. no, yeah. there, there isn't any new age. I hate they to tell don't? you, I don't think no. there's, I don't think there's a new age. I think they it's, the, I think it's, the, it just... I think it's not only is it the same old age, it's worse <laughs> uh, than the old age. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, whatever you know, <laughs> they want to call it. He, he's still very active and That's does great. a lot of yeah. recording work out of yeah. his house, and you know, he's yeah, just a great guy. Well, I, I guess yeah. the, you know, I, don't, I hope he's doing well. Yeah. But there was this period when every it seemed like every album on earth had to have a cello. Mm. Remember? Um, I I no, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, like that sounds like a good. I love cello. <laughs> and I've been working with um, Tim Gilson in town on oh, yeah. cello, kind of, and one of the, I actually read it, one of my poems on the album uh -huh. with a cello in the background, and so Tim and I have kind of started this other project of me doing poetry and some songs, and nice. but just cello and vocal, and it's really, it's nice. lovely. So. Nice. I yeah. love that. I'm, I I'm love cello that. crazy. Yeah. I used to, exactly. when David Vest still lived in Portland, uh, and he, of course he had the blues band, you know, because yeah. he was Paul DeLay's last, last right. piano player. But then, and then after Paul died, he had his own band. It was it was still Paul's old band, but it was he uh, David led it. Uh, he got into this Sun Ra thing, mm -hmm. and he would invite me to come read Sun Ra poetry with his band. Oh, how fun! Which was so much fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I remember that maybe having happened at the brasserie one night. Could have. Mm. Yeah. I, I brought them there and I feel like, yeah, That's I vaguely so remember you turning up and <laughs> doing a, a tune with them. Oh, I miss the brasserie. Duff's, I did Duff's several times. Okay, yeah. that could have been it too. Jimmy Max did one time. Oh, yeah. great. Also, so yeah. fun. <laughs> All the places are yeah, no longer with us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not sit here and complain about the music no. industry. No, no, no. because no. I can have every. I, you know, th that's easy to do. <laughs> yeah, no. we don't want to do that. No. Okay. No, no. So Hollis is how old now? Almost eight. No. November first. Holy shit. Yep. <laughs> it's huge. Eight. Yeah, almost. almost. Yeah. It's been that long. Yeah. Whoa. Second grade. Jeez. So you, before we started, I hate to. I hate this. I, I could have faked it, but you were you were, you were starting to tell me about um, the life of two working oh. <laughs> musicians who were married, and you told me about what happened this morning. <laughs> that's a good example, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it was a pretty good, you know, craziness example. So you wake up, and your eight-year-old is what? He's like, you know just sick enough to convince us to you know <laughs> keep him home from school of course you know on the same day we've got a re you know recording session so to speak together so we've got that to figure out now all of a sudden what are we going to do with him and uh well, luckily we have some family in town and we're able to take him over to shelly's mom's but meanwhile, of course, you know, we've got our other stuff, other fires <laughs> burning. You know, Shelly does some real estate work and, you know, has been really active with that at the moment. So she's like writing an offer at the same time we're trying to sort that, you know, care for our son. I and, his stuff and, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, you know, I've got my other sideline things like, you know, live music booking and I'm, this morning all of a sudden, you know, trying to handle a cancellation for this weekend. And, no. You know, it's just like, that was a pretty, yeah. yeah. If, it, if it's not some mix just like that, it's something pretty close, you know, <laughs> a lot of days. Yes. But we just, you know, do our best to keep yeah. smiling through all of it and, yeah. you know, be 
grateful for all that we have and you know it it works yeah, yeah. we lead a good life all in all it's just kind of like we Chaotic. yeah sometimes <laughs> it feels like we have a like private zoo we're trying to manage <laughs> like in our backyard <laughs> I mean so really right. it's, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm trying to read the I wouldn't have it any other way in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, yeah, I would take maybe a. Because everything's bit. chaotic. You know, it's just kind well, of. Well, you're musicians. You know. That's chaotic in yeah. itself. I know. Yeah. And then the hours, you right. know, yeah, like yesterday right. we played a gig at Skimane, mean, you know, so it's like all the. Yes. Together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, just the yeah. two of you? Yeah. Mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that must have. Was it outside? It's, not yesterday. It's been outside oh, all yeah. summer, but not yeah. yesterday. Yeah, it was lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah, those outdoor concerts at Scamania are beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Did, now, did they, do they put you with the gorge behind you? No. Oh. I know. We can look at it, which is great, but then it's uh, kind of awkward. The audience. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was out there one time because we, 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 we were sponsors for them one, one year, and Three Leg Torso played, oh. and they played with the gorge behind them. Yeah. Right? And, and it, was, it was dusk. And the moon rose oh. over the gorge while they were playing, and the it's audience amazing. just flipped out, oh. and they had no idea it was right. happening. <laughs> <laughs> they oh. thought it was just them. Right, that's good. <laughs> yeah, and I wondered if they were there. disappointed when they found out that it was them. <laughs> but it was also the moon. It was a full oh. moon too. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's so magical. It's a there. great spot. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. We'll have to maybe see if the Put us out where uh, we joke we're about part of the often scene. People are they're have their facing. backs to us because, of course, they're looking, so we're definitely background music. It's not people. But yeah, it's, I mean, we've been doing a lot out there over the past couple years, yeah, and it's, it's been incredible. great. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're really nice, and it's such a, you know, historic and scenic spot. And yeah, yeah. One of the gigs we feel lucky to have. So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had a great we had a great deal. We used to used to give us a room and yeah, all we so had to do it. So yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Well, all right. So, how how did you guys meet? Did you, were you, did you meet on a gig? Did you did you uh, what was it? It was um, a Ron Steen session. The jam? Yeah. <laughs> Back when I wonder how much I wonder how many times that's happened. <laughs> I never Michigan thought of that. Award. I never <laughs> thought of that. Yeah. But I, I wonder how many times that's we happened. We owe him a lot. That's how Tom and I started playing together. <laughs> Is actually, that right? Too. Yeah. Wow. Ron, thank you, Ron. Yeah. Thank you, Ron. Ron's truly the godfather. Yes, yes. Ron. You know? No, it was at uh, Alexander's at the Hilton. Oh, oh, I remember that. Yeah. 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 And I, yeah. But I remember before that, I kept seeing your flyers, remember? Because we both lived in Northwest. Yeah, we only lived about a block apart. Yeah, and I kept seeing his met. flyers for a gig there, and I kept thinking, Chance Hayden, that is a great name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought great about name. that this morning, actually, yeah. as we drove oh, yeah? past there, because her mom oh, yeah. still lives in Northwest, uh -huh. and you're still in Northwest, yeah. too, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's really one of the best, you know, Neighborhoods, if like you, I mean, you've you're mostly walking around. I mean, yeah, you know, and it's such a great walking neighborhood, you know. Yeah, yeah. you've typically what not had a car in, oh, in no, the I've folder, had a car, but, okay. But uh, you know, uh, you like being somewhere that you can yeah. mostly just yeah. leave it and yeah. you know, yeah. walk to, yeah. yeah. I did about a year without a car when yeah. I was in that neighborhood, and it was. You know, it was while I was at PSU, and I could walk in to catch the streetcar to get over there, and you know, like the regular gig I had, I could walk to it, have mm -hmm. my amp on a cart, you know, <laughs> and um, it was great in a way because yeah, the parking over there's. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think the first time I met you was at the Mission Theater. Yeah, it was probably Not a basketball it, game. They it, were showing a Blazers game. Yeah, I, I think I was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was yeah. so much in those days. Uh, <laughs> so if I was, I'm sorry. That's a, I, don't, <laughs> I don't recall the specific event. But I'm, uh, 
Yeah, I'm sure it was somewhere <laughs> like that in the neighborhood. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure then. it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did, did when you went to the, when you went to the jam? Did you did you, did you, did you, you you perform? Both of you performed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the same song? I, yeah, probably. He has, a, he has a belt. You have a better memory than I. Do. Anybody remember the song? It was probably you know. That's a great. Wouldn't right. that be good if we did? Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> oh well. It was probably fun. Route 66, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, so much, so much, so much for romance. <laughs> I know. I know. That's yeah. <laughs> so were there sparks immediately? I mean. Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> it sparked a friendship at first, yes. and a you know working relationship. Uh -huh. We yeah. we got to be friends, and you know being basically neighbors mm -hmm. started um, just to hang out a bit, you know, and do some music and do some gigs, and then you know a couple years later it led to a you know, relationship yeah. beyond that. There you are. And yeah. Are. And that's been now 11, over 11 years. Wow. How about that? How yeah. about that? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you handle the travel? And the, the, you know, because, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're on the road. You're on the road more than, than, than you, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. right. When the record comes no. out, buddy, you can just stay home. Right, yeah, uh, payback. <laughs> just stay the yeah. fuck home and let her be the star. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did get to travel last year, but that was the yeah. first time since Hollis was. Is that right? Born, so. Yeah, she. I went to Indonesia with Tom. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's big, but yeah. otherwise I've been. Home. But you've been. Yeah. You've done tons of stuff. Yeah, I did. You know, a number of tours with Jared Lawson, and then more recently I've been doing my own tours, mm -hmm. which have been closer to home, but yeah, still time away. Um, you went to England and Europe with, with Jared? Yeah, I did a lot of stuff in Europe and uh, did one trip to Asia. We actually went to Indonesia too, and then... Um, but you weren't there together? No. No, no, oh. that was, <laughs> yeah, a few years prior. But um, yeah, and then a bit around the States too, and um, actually just did a one off in Oakland with him, but um, yeah, I've been pushing my own thing out there more and more and trying to really, you know, make it happen for myself and just starting with what's, you know, nearest at the moment and, uh -huh. you know, going up to Seattle and Vancouver, BC a lot and trying to work my way down California and, uh -huh. you know, take advantage of the West Coast, all that's drivable, you know, for the most part. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it's definitely a challenge, I mean, because it puts <laughs> a heftier parenting load on Shelly, and, um, you know, there's a lot of logistics to figure out, but, you know, luckily, you know, we have a mutual understanding yeah. that it's yeah part of what we have to do as artists to get mm -hmm. our music out there yeah. beyond, you know, this community here, which is, you know, lovely and we love playing here and, you know, continuing to reach people here at home, but mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's a big wide world out there and, you know, we want to get our message out to a lot more people. When you deal with that, um, is it is there a lot of discussion, or is it or is it instinctual of what what you need to do? Um, as far as you know, taking uh, care of things. taking taking care of things, being a part. I think it's pretty instinctual. We're kind of we're definitely improvisers, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. learn from like oh we better organize things better next time a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. But we just kind of, and then he gets texts from me like. <laughs> and then I'm better. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Well, exciting. I can understand that. But it helps so much that we're both musicians, because I know other couples, 
where one of you know one travels and it's hard. You know, I think it's a lot more stressful because they're yeah. like, yeah. you know, come home. You know, but yeah. yeah, but we understand. I want to do it too, and he wants to, do it and I want him to. You know, we both want each other to live our dreams. You know, as much as we can. So yeah, we just gonna gonna sing something it. for us. Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. What is it you're going to sing? You want to do uh, "Good Love to Better" first? Sure. Whatever this you called, would like. Oh, I gotta do this. It's called "Coulda Loved You Better," and it's a song I wrote on my album that came out forever ago called "In This World." But we've been playing it together for I don't know how long, and kind of have made it our own. But it's not about him. <laughs> 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 Which is good. Yes. That's so funny. That's funny. I had, I had Curtis Salgado in there, and he's got this really mean hate love song. And he has to say, this is not about my girlfriend. Exactly. <laughs> I think about that Just a little bit better I could have written you Love letters I could have shown you yeah, That I love you forever But you gotta believe that you gotta believe that I love you. Oh, yeah. I could have loved you, baby, just a little bit harder. You know, I, I could have played. Just a little bit smarter I could have shown you yeah, That I'm worth a bother But you gotta believe that You gotta believe that Baby, I love you So much 
you better I could have loved you, baby I could have loved you so much better I could have loved you Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Thank wow. Boy, oh boy. Huh. Um, that was very bluesy, very soulful. I wonder what that is. Harmonica. Oh. <laughs> Not quite so in much joining key. in. Yeah, it's okay. It's a music venue. <laughs> inspired someone. That's good. It's a music, yeah, yeah. It's a music <laughs> venue in store, okay? Exactly. People teach here and everything. Um, so, uh, so are you. Both of you are are diverse in, in your in your genres. You mix the stuff up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. say so. Um, do you think you're known more as a jazz singer? I think so. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Huh. That wasn't jazz, though. No. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I sing a lot of jazz songs, but I have kind of a bluesy, yeah. soulful yeah, interpretation yeah. versus being a jazz jazz yeah. singer, you know, yeah. but. Yeah, because, I mean, you, she doesn't scat solo or, you know, or. I'm not a, definitely a cerebral jazz, you know what I mean? Like, not yeah, yeah. sort of that, yeah. you know, yeah. just you know. comes out. <laughs> or, yes. yeah, yeah. So on this new album, yeah. um, is it all an original compositions? Do, are it's you do, a uh, chunk original and then some um, covers reimagined. Of like what? Rearranged covers. Stand By Me. Oh. Totally different. Wow. Yeah, it's a very Pensive, exciting. exotic, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Uh, oh, and this beautiful song called The Slow Life, um, which is written by a singer-songwriter singer in LA named Chris Pierce. Uh -huh. um, what else? Oh, and then, have you, did you see the movie Diva? It came out like in no. the 80s. Oh, it's beautiful. There's, it's a beautiful, um, but there's a piano piece that kind of sounds like an Eric Satie kind of composition. Uh -huh. um, and I wrote words to go with that, and then wow. it, it's with oceans of cello. And uh -huh. so, are those all the covers? Sounds like an art song. It's very arty, this mm -hmm. project. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Good, thank you. I don't know if it is. It is what it is. Oh, it is. It's very arty. Yeah. And then there's the poem, and you know. Yeah. Because well, people pigeonhole. Yeah, as you know, musicians so yeah, you know yeah. like much too frequently. Yeah, you know? I know it's it's tricky though, because then like what am I going to do with this thing? You know, like the yeah. marketing was like yeah. I don't quite know what to yeah, call it. Yeah, yeah, that's like Rachel Taylor Brown. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. She's not a singer songwriter. Right. She's she makes she makes art songs. Yeah, yeah. Mine is definitely more on that. You know. Yeah. 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 And 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 your stuff is is. You, you know, you, you got the whole funk side and yeah. and uh, the jazz side, and mm -hmm. yeah. you know, because yeah. um, you know that 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 you know what you just played was very jazzy. You know, obviously, mm -hmm. to me it was obvious. Yeah. To you, it's even more obvious. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would think that the way I approach. Music. I mean, when I perform, and the way Shelley does is similar. It's kind of, you know, we're intertwining a mix of influences from jazz, blues, soul, funk, mm -hmm. all of the above, kind of, mm -hmm. you know, into our own little unique yeah. flavor, you know. And they all have their 
cross pollination anyway, all those genres, but you know, it's, yeah, I think we just have a little bit um, wider palette that way than just, you know, like a straight ahead jazz singer or, yeah, yeah. or player might. <laughs> um, and, you know, not that there's anything wrong with, you know, musicians of that nature, of course, but um, yeah, I've just found a deep love for so much different music yeah. over the years. So and your album, last album was spun up, what, about a year and a half, two years? Um, yeah, a year and a half. year and a half, yeah. Roughly. Well, I was happy to have written some of the lines. Yes, thank yes. you. That made me happy to write that. Such a good and album. I'm actually... Thank you for asking. Of course, yeah. Um, so, are, obviously you're working on something new. Yeah, I'm going to be going back into the studio next month, actually, to record Bob the Stark next again? one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. And Bob did the mixing for Shelley's record, too, so oh boy. it sounds He's fantastic. Been on the yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bob's great. I mean, I just can't say enough good things about him and his work and, you know. So what, what, is, it, what is it going to be this time? What is it going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, do it downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd say it's not too far off from the last one, but maybe a little bit more bluesy grit really? than, um, you know, it's still, I think, overall going to have the feeling of a, you know, jazz funk mm -hmm. album, but a little more blues in form this time. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, who's going to be on it? I don't know. It's that was my I'm glad we're question. hanging out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's still developing, but I've got uh -huh. actually two different rhythm sections I'm going to use because uh -huh. I've been doing so many gigs with um, both of them and um, want to kind of, mm -hmm. you know, spread the love a bit and um, include, you know, more than just one group on this one. But um, yeah, I've got J.P. Downer and Tyrone Hendricks. Who I knew you were going to say Tyrone yeah. Hendricks. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it was tough. Not you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to get him on the last one, yeah. and I, I really, you know, we've played so much, and he's, he and J.P. both have helped me really develop my. Thing, you know, in terms yeah. of doing trio gigs, yeah. and so, yeah, they're going to be in there, and then Damien Erskine and Mark Griffith. Whoa! So, and Damien's on the last one, of course, last record. Didn't Damien cut his hair? Um, <laughs> he's cut a lot of weight. I know that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> his. I saw a picture of his hair. Might be a little shorter. He's still, of course, got the long yeah. goatee yes. braid. You yeah. know, his signature. He could never get. Should never, no. should never get rid of that. No. Yeah. Um, I wonder if it gets caught in stuff. I, yeah. Have you had him on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the follow up yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so um, uh, Ty, does Tyrone have a, have a boy about Hollis's age? Yes. Yes. They, they were just recently. over yeah. together. A yeah. wild play date. Wow. <gasps> yeah, I have video. They were jamming in my studio, actually. Who was too. playing what? Uh, Hollis was playing cajon. <laughs> yeah, to Oh my God, it was playing piano. They were rocking out in my studio. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Um, He's amazing, though, to Kylo. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. He's a force. Yeah. Are you telling me you've given birth to a drummer? <laughs> I don't know, Haas was a great, I don't know, he's, very, he's working on his dance moves and his singing right now. Really? He wants to be a singer and a scientist. Okay. I know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Get the, get the degree first. I know, I'm like, science is great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we like science. <laughs> what does he like to sing? I got rhythm, I got music, I got my friends who could ask for anything more. I got daisies and green pastures. I got my friends who could ask for anything more. Open trouble, I don't mind him. You won't find him round my door. I 
got starlight, I got sweet dreams, I got my friends who could ask for anything more. That's so good, buddy. I love he, it. He is the greatest. Well, what was he singing on the car today? That was part of our morning, too. Oh. <laughs> Taking it to my mom's, and he's singing uh, Hound Dog by Elvis. <laughs> really? Yes. Yep. Yeah, he likes all sorts of stuff. It's he really likes, cool. Like, <laughs> Justin Timberlake, Usher, Elvis, uh, it's really, Madonna, yeah. <laughs> Prince, Michael Jackson. Are those the big ones? It's yeah, it's all over the map. I mean, he had a big ACDC yeah, phase. Yeah, that was earlier. You know, he re really was loving Ricky the, Martin. You know, to Ricky Martin. Hard rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. He's got good dance moves too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's funky. Now, who does he take after when that one? With the dance moves. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> we, have, we have a lot of dance parties at our house. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's, too. Yeah, it's good. I'll get in there oh, you yeah. know, a little you bit. You got it. Like, yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Suppose you know. he comes to you and says, I, I want to be, be a professional musician. I will cry. Well, a few days ago, he was asking how much. <laughs> he was asking us how much. Yeah, like out of the blue, he kind of said, yeah, "How much do you guys make on the gig?" <laughs> so he's, I think, starting to put it together already that yeah. it's like you know we do it because we love it and yeah. there's some money, but it's yeah. not the big bucks. And then he's like, "Well, attorneys make a lot of money." <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but he's very science, very scientific brain. Like he's really into yeah. science. So yeah, yeah. What kind yeah. of science does he like? Uh, he started like he started a plant journal earlier this <laughs> summer and animals. He's rocks. like um, and rocks. He's got rocks rocks everywhere. Yeah. He knows and he just is really good at like. He loves to like learn about something really deep, you know. So he just knows about every kind of rock and gem and you know all their attributes and you know, so. <laughs> We'll see. Oh boy, I had a girlfriend one time who was into, totally into rocks. And so we got together and we were gonna move in. And then she said, listen, I, have to, I wanna bring some of my rocks with me. And so we filled up one truck, <laughs> unloaded it, came back, and it was a half a truck worth of rocks and boulders. I believe it. That's how you prove you love. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm grinding coffee. <laughs> will, you, will you carry my rocks? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's funny. <laughs> well, look, uh, this has been terrific. It's so fun. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, and we'll put up your latest gigs on the page. Oh, good. Thank you. And all that. And uh, can you do one more? Sure. One more Let's two? do it. Yeah. What are you going to do? Would you like to introduce us? Well, one? this is another... This is a new song that we co-wrote for a couple great friends of ours who got married and, you know, we, it was sort of one of our gifts to them was we wrote this song and performed it at their wedding and, um, so yeah, it's a Shelly and Chance collaboration it is a and Chance yet to be recorded, but yes. yeah. You yeah. heard it here first. That's Pretty right. Much. Except if you were at the wedding. <laughs> yeah. That's right. It's called Do You Know. Yeah. Do you know? That life would never be So sweet, so funny Beautiful, true Autumn leaves would lose their color Without you Do you know how much you mean? 
Do you know that I will always be your closest friend in laughter, harmony and need? Let your wants upon a time begin with me. devilish smile and those eyes that play along your tender heart well that makes me wish upon this happy ever after life with you and say Do you know that you will always be my pure imagination, wildest dream come true? At last, the love we never knew. Beautiful, Thanks. beautiful. That's just you know. Thank you. You have to record that because Thank all you need you. is to get that to be popular at weddings, and you'll never have to work again. That was our like vision, you're thinking. actually. <laughs> I mean, as we were writing Thank it, because there is a whole market for yeah wedding songs. I and, believe me. It, it, yeah. when, when when my career went in the toilet when I was in Baltimore, that's what I did. I was a wedding DJ. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I kind of had to get him to do the chicken dance and the whole thing. Right. <laughs> I was, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank uh, it was you. really ter terrific to see you again. Thank you so and much. and, and uh, uh, I'll mm -hmm. always love to see you. Thank you, Tom. Next always time, great to see when you. we do a video podcast, uh, we're going to do another couple. So, uh, keep looking at Oregon Music News every single day of your life. Mm -hmm.